Hi, I'm George Levy. I'm at the Lab Miami, and today I have the great opportunity to speak with Alexei Fallin from Rarible. Alexei, thank you very much. It was a great, great session. So glad to see you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> One of the things that I found most fascinating about the uh, conversation, by the way, uh, Rarible among my audience, my audience is all about NFTs, cryptocurrency, you're huge on decentralization, and that's a very, very key component. You said some very interesting things about your vision was born from being decentralized. Can you tell us a little bit more about what your vision is moving forward into the NFT space when it comes to decentralization? Yeah, so we believe that everything should be owned by the community, and we're trying to go to this direction. Uh, this means that it should be a token, it should be a governance. So yes, this is the like right direction to go. And um, we're trying to open source as much as we can uh, to allow other people to launch the like instances of like indexer or like different backends, so just like a node. And now it's a little bit difficult to decentralize all the uh, stack like uh, Image processing, for example, or storing images still have to be somewhere. But at least we can like uh, allow people to run their own nodes uh, and be um, kind of be sure that there is no rate limits for API or there is no like any other limits because the code is also open sourced. Yeah, I found very very interesting in the context of. Uh there's so much buzz around NFTs right now, and a lot of people are just putting up anything for NFTs, and there's a lot of garbage putting out there. I found interesting your perspective on lazy minting. I found that very, very interesting because all the talk is about lazy minting, but you're actually looking at it differently. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, you're totally right. So lazy minting for, uh, for guys who don't know, it's, uh, it's actually NFTs that don't really exist. They sit on the back end and waiting for someone to purchase them. And when someone is, someone is purchasing them, they actually uh, min become minted on the blockchain. So this means that it's, it's like zero cost and people minting like even through bots, uh, different stuff, Al almost like 99% of the stuff is uh, experiments or some fraudulent activity or different other things. So that's why, but it's like one thing, what cool about uh, lazy minting is allows the people to enter the space. So if you never mint anything, you don't want to spend money on minting. So you go and do lazy mint. Uh, but there is now there is like layer to layer one solutions with uh, cheap transactions. We have, we support flow. There is a um, polygon as well. So it's better to like switch off lazy minting and to allow people to mint uh, like cheap, but still paying something on different layer one, layer two solutions. So and also it's kind of thing that is more decentralized. So you don't have this backend that stores the NFTs waiting for the day of mint. Perfect. So I don't want to keep you too long, but one thing I wanted to get into that was very interesting was your focus that. Once a person actually has an NFT that's been minted, you can see it on multiple, well, bless you, multiple marketplaces. So, for instance, you actually list uh, NFTs listed on multiple other marketplaces on Rarible. Talk a little bit about that. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, the Rarible protocol, it segregates orders from other marketplaces. If someone puts NFT on sale, now this feature works on Ethereum, but also protocol supports other layer one chains and we're working on supporting other marketplaces that exist on other chains so it means that like aggregation will work on different blockchains now it works on ethereum and this means that if you put something on sale on ethereum so it will be it exists on on the protocol level on variable marketplace and and if you build something on the variable protocol so it will be on your app uh, you can have this in your own app and you ha you can have the supply and show to your users and users able to uh, execute sale orders and you can have some commission on top so if you want to build some specific niche marketplace with some your curation you can do this and make money out of this excellent so alexei thank you very much uh, the best website the best url that people can go to find out more about rarible where should they go so for rarible it's rarible.com for uh in for the protocol it's rarible.org 
So both of them, rareable.com so is for the marketplace, the rareable.org is for the protocol? Yes, yes. If you want to build something, go to rareable.org. If you want to purchase NFTs, go to rareable.com. Thank you very much. Very valuable. Alexei, thank you so much. All the very best to the Rarible team. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.